Hey guys, Anthony here with Rancor TV. Today we're going to do just a little tiny quick video to show you how to get The Witcher 3 with the new next gen DLC running on your Steam Deck. There's just one little change that you're going to have to make. If you've been running into constant um, crashes and you just can't get the game to load past the uh, menu screen, then this is what your problem is and this is what you're going to need to do. So let's get on to our cam link here. Here we can see on the Steam Deck that... Uh, I have the Witcher pulled up. I am on the stable um, release for the Steam Deck. I haven't tried this with any of the uh, newer ones yet, the beta or, or whatnot. But uh, you'll go ahead and press play. And you guys notice probably with the next gen, they have this new launcher. At least I think it's new. I don't recall it ever being a thing before. But there's a new launcher that pops up that you kind of use to launch the game itself. And that is where we need to make the change here. So um, what we have to do, and actually I'm going to have to switch over to my bench. Because on the controller, for some reason, <laughs> it doesn't let you do anything. But we can actually use the touchscreen of the uh, Steam Deck itself. So we'll jump down there. Um, here we can see I've got my Steam Deck on the bench here and uh, what you're gonna do is we can see right here where i currently have it um on directx 11 by default that's at directx 12. so if you make that swap and uh, just go to directx 11 the game will fire right up um, i'm actually going to swap it to 12 and we'll hit play and i'll show you guys um, exactly what it is that i'm talking about Okay. Yep. Okay. So here we can see, and if you have it on 12, it'll get all the way through. It'll go to the, the loading thing. It'll even play like the little introduction video, <clears throat> that kind of the chapter video, whatever you want to call that. But as soon as you try to skip that and get through, it just hangs and then you'll get a crash report. Yep. Here we go. We've got the crash. Um, again, none of the <laughs> none of the buttons work um, to uh, actually get you off of that. So, like, you've got to once again, if you are hooked up to a dock or whatnot, you have to get on here. You can do the touch screen. You can send a report or choose not to send it. Either way, it doesn't matter. That will take you back to this main loading screen. And so now we'll go through and we'll just make the change here really quick. And then I'll show you that you can load right into the game. And that's all you need to do to get it going. Um, I do have another video that shows how the new Witcher Next Gen update has been playing on the Steam Deck. So if you want to check that out, definitely hit up my channel. But really, we just go. We hit the DirectX 11. And then if we hit play, and I'll go ahead and bounce that back over to my screen capture. Um... And then we'll see that the game will load right in in all of its beautiful gloriousness. Um, so, seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. All right, so here we are. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to skip this. And we should be able to get in, and we can see it loads, and we get right in. And uh, yeah, so that's really. That's really all you need to know to get the Witcher up and running again. Um, so if you haven't already, please smash that thumbs up button for me like I know you can. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when my next great video comes out. In the meantime, keep playing and stay happy.